Hey you guys, Cece back with another video and today's video, super duper duper exciting because we are starting yearly favorites week. So yes, I'm sick, please don't mind the voice, but I couldn't wait to film this video. It is yearly favorites week. If you guys did not see my entire yearly favorites week last year, I put it in a playlist. So click that eye right up there or up there. I used to know what side it was on. I think it's up here. Click that eye and it'll take you right to that playlist so you can catch up on my 2017 yearly favorites. But now we're at 2018 yearly favorites. I try not to repeat any products for you guys. And basically, I will just be showing you guys all the products that I loved throughout the year this whole week, Monday through Friday. You guys will see my face on your computer screens, your tablets, your cell phones, whatever, every single day this week, Monday through Friday. I am very, very excited to be bringing you guys this format. I love doing yearly favorites and I'm not quite sure how people get them done all in one video. I have never been one to do that. So I like to split it up like this so I can talk a little bit more about the products. Within these videos, there will be a mixture of high-end and drugstore products. I'm not gonna force myself to give you guys a high-end and a drugstore option. It really just depends on what I've been loving throughout the year. I tried to keep these videos as authentic as possible because I really want you guys to know what I've been loving, even though most of the stuff you can probably tell because I've been talking about it all year. So if this is your first time watching and seeing my face, make sure you go ahead, click that subscribe button. Join the family for the new year. I would love to have you. It would mean the world to me. For all of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting me and coming back. Also, make sure you guys are following me on my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and also my Facebook fan page. It's the best way to keep up with me in between uploads, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in. I decided to start this week off with my personal favorite, favorite part of makeup, and that is complexion products and the base products. So foundations, concealers, and powders, I mean, I have more of those than anything. That is literally my favorite part of makeup. I think foundation comes first, then powders, then concealers. I have a slight obsession with all of them. If you guys have seen my declutters from last year, then you know that. But yeah, I have a little obsession with all of them. So I just absolutely love that part of makeup. I feel like if your base is on, then everything else just looks so much better. And it just is so much easier to apply when you have a good base. You know what I mean? You're only as strong as your foundation. <laughs> pun intended. You're only as strong as your base, so you really need a good solid base. So that's what I thought I would start with, everything I was loving in those categories for this year. So let's start with foundations. I tried to narrow this down as much as possible. I swear to God I did, you guys. I ended up with one, two, three, four. I ended up with five foundations, which isn't too bad. So the first one that I have, we'll start with the higher end foundation. I think this is probably in everyone's yearly favorites, and it's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And it just looks like this. I've talked to you guys about this I don't know how many times, so I'm not gonna harp on it. I just want to let you guys know that this is one of the most amazing foundations I've ever tried and I'm oily skin and this is a natural radiant foundation so normally I would steer way clear of this foundation but I tried it because everyone had such good things to say about it and they were not lying. It gives you such a, it doesn't really give me a radiant finish, it's more of a natural finish. If I set it real good and also put on a mattifying foundation in the summertime, I can still wear this. But where it really kicks ass is like the spring, the fall, and the winter when it's not super hot. I live in Ohio. so. It's only super hot like three months out of the year. So when it's not super hot, I can wear this all day. It looks amazing. My skin gets dry this time of year. So this has been like my holy grail savior the last few months. I love this foundation. I'm in the shade Cadiz and it's like the perfect shade for me. So I would totally check this out. Next foundation I'm gonna talk about is Drugstore. And this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I am in the shade F12.5 in this and oh my goodness. When I first tried this out, 
I think I was like, oh, I don't really love it. But then after I wore it more and more, this honestly became a holy grail foundation for me. I, let me see. What foundation I would think between this one the NARS foundation and the one I'm gonna show you in a minute I wore those three the most this year and this one I probably got what late summer I think it came out and I have been hooked obsessed everything with this foundation it's just so pretty on my skin gives a nice matte finish lasts for me all day I do need to touch up throughout the day with it but it just gives the most beautiful base for your face I mean it's just flawless so I love this it's definitely full coverage and just super beautiful the next foundation that I have is one that I wore actually a lot this summer and it's the Laura Mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation I have this one in the shade 5 and 1 pecan it's a bit dark for me as you can see but in the summertime it is literally the perfect shade for me I absolutely love this foundation I actually fell in love with this foundation because of the longevity of the wear so I wore this on a trip we took a family trip to Florida and I wore this foundation and I literally wore it all day in 90 something degree heat while we were at the theme parks and it lasted on me I love Looked so good even at the end of the day so this definitely became a standout product for me after I noticed that but yeah it's the perfect shade for me in the summertime and it just looks beautiful on the skin so I had to really mention this all right where to next let's go with another drugstore this is the third foundation like I was telling you that I was super obsessed with so it was the NARS it was the makeup revolution and now it's this one and I think you guys all know what it's gonna be and it's the Maybelline super stay multi-use foundation stick I cannot say enough good things about this foundation if you guys saw my last empties video then you will see that I used this up and this is my second one one in just a couple of months I use the crap out of this foundation still using it still love it it's definitely following me in 2019 I'm in the shade 330 toffee caramel perfect shade for me this is just so it's just so easy to use I love stick foundations because of their ease of use I mean honestly you slap it on you blend it out but this one is just full coverage it's gorgeous I mean gorgeous on my skin I get compliments every single time I wear this foundation and it's just a nice basic foundation like I don't even know what makes it so great it's really creamy it's blendable it's just a whole combination of amazing things about this foundation that I love so if you haven't tried this go to your local drugstore Target wherever check this foundation stick out I think it's great for also for makeup beginners I wouldn't touch this little brush on the other side though I don't even know how you would use that you're supposed to be able to use it on the go blah blah I wouldn't even touch that little sponge thing but the product inside is gorgeous now you don't get that much product that's one con about this so I'll probably have to repurchase this a lot but I don't mind it's 10 bucks and one of the most beautiful foundations I've ever used the last foundation that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. I am in the shade N70, so neutral 70, and oh, what can you say about this foundation? It's matte, it stays on your face all day with minimal touch-ups for me with very oily skin. This was so great for me this summer because I honestly was able to use this foundation all throughout the summer and I can use it throughout the winter months and it doesn't dry me out too much some foundations they're just way too dry in the winter when my skin gets dry and I can't wear it not this foundation this one's actually really nice in the winter time and it's matte like I've been staying away from matte foundations for the winter because my skin is so dry but I can still use this right now this time of year such an amazing beautiful foundation I'm so happy cover FX finally came out with a really good foundation. This baby is it's gorgeous All right, so after I put on my foundation I do use my concealer underneath my eyes just to cover anything and also to brighten and I chose four concealers and I guarantee you guys can probably know what concealers I'm going to mention today the first one I think is a no-brainer and if you watch anyone's yearly favorites video you will see this concealer in it and it's the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer I'm using the shade sand and 
I don't know, what else do you say about this concealer? First off, look at the size of it. It's about the size of a freaking foundation. Like, let's take this one. It's literally about the size of a foundation. The packaging is so huge. I don't exactly know what they were going for in making this so large, but I'm happy they did. You get a lot of product in here and it's definitely full coverage. This kind of like kicked my Tarte Shape Tape's ass this year. I still use Shape Tape, but this, I, I pull for this the most. This is, since I've gotten it, this is the one that I've been using the most and I just love it. I love it, love it. It blends well, doesn't look cakey, I love it. Another concealer that, this one I liked and I used a whole, whole, whole lot, but then I got a concealer after it and I just kind of put it by the wayside, but this was such an amazing concealer and I used it so much. I think I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it and it's the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. So it goes so well along with that Power Play foundation that I just talked about and I get mine in the shade medium one and this was just such a good concealer such a good concealer again full coverage it's matte underneath the eyes but not like dry cakey you're gonna crack up under there matte but just a nice smooth matte where you don't have to worry about the concealer like slipping and sliding everywhere love this concealer and i would definitely recommend it all right, what do we have next? Let's go with a drugstore option, and it's the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. So this is another like jumbo size concealer. Almost reminds me of the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like this is definitely a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So if you don't wanna spend the money, try this concealer right here. I use the shade number C11, and again, dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Everything Tarte Shape Tape does, this one does for less than half of the price tag. Just saying. Love my Tarte Shape Tape, still use my Tarte Shape Tape, but try it. It has the huge doe foot applicator, which I love. You honestly only have to dip into it once and you have enough concealer for your entire face. It's amazing. Last concealer that I have is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour smooth wear concealer i have not loved a matte concealer for a very long time they came out with this like a bunch of new products in their studio fix line and this concealer was one of them love it love it love it now unlike those this is more of like a medium covering concealer so it's not super thick but I feel like it's great for like everyday wear. So when I'm going to work or just going to run some errands and I wanna slap some concealer underneath the eyes, this is really nice for everyday wear. Super smooth and blends out easily. This is one of those that I think is great for, again, makeup beginners. I love to suggest products that are great for makeup beginners because I know I have a lot of makeup beginners on my channel, which is fine and I think this is really great for makeup beginners because it just blends out so easily and it's not super thick where if you don't blend it enough, you're going to look like quite crazy. I mean, obviously you need to blend it out, but this one is more forgiving. It's more forgiving, but it does still have coverage and it does still have staying power. So last but not least, let's move into powders. I only have three powders. None of them are drugstore actually, but I think they're really great powders. The first one is the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Tan. I think you guys already knew I was gonna talk about this because I've been talking about this nonstop for the last few months. I have had to force myself to put this powder down. Okay, where do I begin? This powder is amazing because one, it goes over the entire face, so I just set my entire face of makeup with it, and it doesn't have much coverage, but it sets everything into place, and it's just that nice, smooth finisher. So if you're looking for more coverage, this probably isn't the best powder to use, but it finishes out everything beautifully and just kind of pulls everything together and gives it one seamless look, if that makes any type of sense whatsoever. This is my baby. This I love. This I will always repurchase and never stop using. Just saying. So the next two powders are powders that I used this year and I discovered this year and I only use them underneath the eyes. The first being the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is one that I started using closer to like 
end of the summertime and I'm so happy I found this powder I was not gonna try it but then I just decided to go ahead I was like what the hell and I pulled it out of my collection because I think I got it in some type of like sample box or something and so I opened it up and I looked and I was like yeah it just looks like your normal translucent powder and then I touched it and you guys the powder feels like cool to the touch almost wet it's really really weird but it sets the under eye area so well and if you have really dry under eyes this powder is amazing because it almost feels like it's hydrating your under eyes which is weird how does a powder hydrate your under eyes this powder will hydrate your under eyes I promise you so definitely try it, especially maybe if you're using like a really matte concealer and you're not sure how your under eyes are going to react with it. Try setting it with something like this and I think you'll love it. Like love it. This makes my under eyes just feel so good, so cooling and I can't get enough of this powder. Last but not least, I have been obsessed with setting my concealer with the Cover FX, what do you call this, Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent Light. I fell in love with Cover FX this year with their setting powders, with their concealers, with their foundations, primers, setting sprays. I fell in love with Cover FX complexion products because they make great quality products. And these setting powders are nothing short of amazing. When they call it the perfect the perfect setting powder, they mean it. Like it just it's such a nice fine consistency and the translucent is very nice it actually is translucent doesn't leave much of a color underneath your eyes at all i don't get any flashback you guys know i take a lot of flash photography i don't get any flashback or anything like this i honestly think this is the perfect setting powder it just blends away so easily but still sets your makeup really really well but that is it you guys those are all of my foundations concealers and powders that I have been totally obsessed with all year round what were your favorite foundations concealers and powders this year let us all know it down below once again please do not forget to subscribe to this channel share it with a friend thumbs up the video all that good stuff and make sure you're following me on my social media for more sneak peeks and behind the scenes look. I love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.